There are three ley line disruptors buried in the area around Aru village. These devices can imitate the effects of ley line disruption and will constantly interfere with the environment. Your goal is to shut them down. The first three who manage to finish this task will be awarded four, three, and two points accordingly. Note that each person may only bring a set amount of food and water with them, and that leaving the designated competition zone will result in disqualification. Uh, hey, Tainari? Tainari? He's asleep? Oh no, it looks like he's fainted. We have to help him. Tainari, are you okay? Uh, it's so hot. <laughs> oh, so you passed out because of the heat. Uh, are you not used to getting around in the desert? Uh, that's right. I usually bring lots of water when I go to the desert, precisely to avoid this situation. Humans, such fragile beings. There we go. Your bodies can't even survive extreme changes in the environment. Yeah, why are you here? Here, take this. Let him drink it. You're giving him your share? Huh. Is it poison? Oh, we get the drawings again. Okay. Are you serious? <sighs> this had better be just normal water. <laughs> hey! You're leaving already? Paimon <sighs> really doesn't get that guy. Found you at last. Let's get you back to Aru Village. Hey there, Farozan. Have you made any progress? Ah, you're just in time. I'm about to start digging right here. Oh, you found the Leyline Disruptor already? <laughs> Such a simple problem could never confound me. Not long after entering the desert, I discovered a primal construct that was acting abnormally. So I followed it all the way here. Come on, stop following me! I already gave you all the food I had on me. Oh, that's so cute. You can cry all you want. I don't have any more food. Cafe, there you are. Beep boop. Hey, didn't I ask you to keep them away? Cafe, is this flying metal thingy yours? <sighs> That's right. This is my toolbox, Marak. It can't understand commands that are too complex, but it can serve as my assistant and help me with things like mapping and surveying. Most importantly, it can't talk, so it can't give me any attitude. Um, <clears throat> I'll hate them. <clears throat> oh, yes. Uh, thanks for helping hide the fact that I live at Alhatham's place earlier. Yeah, Paimo was the one, not me. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa, someone's done already! Uh, it's probably Sino. Either Sino or Hat Guy. Paimo also wants to know. Let's go back and ask Alhatham. Verification complete. Yep, it's Sino. Congratulations on being this round's first winner, Sino. Since the Traveler and Paimon also happen to be here, do you have anything you want to say? Anything I want to say? Hmm. My friend couldn't continue on, so failure was never an option. The bonds of yesterday will forge the road to tomorrow. With the ties of friendship that bind us, I won't lose to anyone. Uh, yes. Thank you, Yugi. Very heartwarming speech. That's a line from King of Invocations, one of my favorite works, and it sums up my thoughts right now. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. It's from Yu-Gi-Oh. It might be a good thing that Tainari isn't here or else he'd give Sino a good smack right about now. <laughs> uh, hello again. You know, it suddenly occurred to me that you guys have had to do a lot of running around this time. Don't you find it tiring? I circled the whole area, but I didn't find anything. But I did have the chance to think some more about that thing that was weighing on my mind, and I realized something. Well, my fellow Ritawahist members must have all put my name forward for different reasons, and maybe a lot of them only picked me because they wanted to watch me make a fool of myself. Yeah, that was probably the case for the people that don't support Layla. Uh, I think I'll just take a quick nap. Just a quick one. 
<laughs> she can sleep while standing up? Are you serious? <laughs> Hmm? Wait, wait. Uh, that, but the that was competition it? isn't over yet. Uh, oh, Layla, Layla. She's really a bundle of nerves, isn't she? Did she just change personalities or something? Wait, you're... Uh, good to see you too. Whew, it's nice to be out. Feels like I've been cooped up inside for quite a while. Okay, so she has double personality. I kind of like this one better because she talks a little bit faster. The other one just puts me to sleep as well. Well, since I'm here, I guess I should help her finish this. What are we supposed to be doing here again? Finding a ley line disruptor, was it? No wonder she feels tired all the time. She has her second personality, Layla, just using her body while she rests. It's the same situation with the ley lines. Oh my god. She doesn't shut up. Via elemental energy, sound, and other phenomena. Ah, this should be it, right? I'll turn it off. That should restore the ley lines in the area to normal. Nice work! I was on Pave! I didn't expect that you and I would find a disruptor at the same time. How are the other contestants doing? Tainari and Hat Guy forfeited, while Sino and Layla are already done. You two are the only ones left. Well, this is indeed it. Of that there is no doubt. I guess we can draw lots again later. I can't think of anything better. Alright, in that case, let's all head back to Aru Village. Paimon thinks you'll both need some water and rest. Looks like the second round is over. I wonder who is faster, Kabe or Madame Farazan? Huh? Where's Madame Farazan? She went to get water. She'll be back shortly. We basically arrived at the same time, so we'd like to draw lots again. <sighs> you get caught up in something so easily, like drawing lots. I'm not caught up in anything! Don't make it sound like I take pleasure in having bad luck! Really? Then should I say that you have a curious affinity for drawing lots? Um, I'll go get the box and slips of paper for the lots. Please wait a moment. <laughs> Oh, here we go again. Let's see how I fare. I got it. Did you see that? I won! Congratulations. Looks like Kaveh's luck's taking a turn for the better. And with that, our second round is done. Sino, Layla, and Kaveh are our victorious contestants. As for the current standings, let me see. Sino and Layla both have four points putting them both in first place. The rest in descending order are Tainari, Farazan, Kave, and Hakai. The next round will be the final one. Please rest up before then, everyone. I bet Alhaitam and Kave are just fighting over or something. Knock. No answer? Uh, maybe no one's home. Hello? Oh, it's you two? Oh, Kav is the one in. Okay. Oh, Kave, you're home! Come on in. I'll get the door for you. We didn't hear a peep when we first knocked. We thought no one was home. Well, I can't be too careful. If someone from the Academia came here looking for Alhatham, and I opened the door for them without thinking, before long the whole city would know that I'm living here. You're pretty conscientious about this, huh? So, what happens if someone comes inside looking for him while you're at home? It's fine, as long as I stay in my own room. Anyway, why would someone just barge in here looking for him? Most people have better things to do. Eh, fair enough. So do you know where he is at the moment? What do you think? Who knows what he does in his free time. All that matters to me is that he's out of the house. Do you have a quarrel or something? <laughs> so these two are like husbandos who are fighting each other always? I wouldn't call it that. He's just incapable of saying anything pleasant at all. Ah, this is the one. Here, take it. Oh, so he is from Bahumana, so it's the same as... that guy. 
Unless he is the ghost that Louis saw? That was a lot of information. Paimon's getting a headache. So, to sum up, Sachin put the Academia in charge of managing his estate and went off to do research, right? He even said that if he really liked one of the contestants, he wouldn't just give them a reward, but his entire estate as well! What? Are you serious? All of Sachin's wealth, that's... more than I could spend in a lifetime, surely. Heck, if I got chosen, I'd be able to pay off all my debts, then buy a new place, and still have cash to burn. I could build another palace of Alcazar's array, except this time, I'd make it ten times bigger. And that is how you will end up with no money, Cave. You're gonna make the same mistake again. Karina! Ugh, you're finally back. Where have you been? I looked everywhere for you. The third round's already started. We were out capturing some bad guys who wanted to kidnap Sachin. But that's not important right now. We think there might be something wrong with the Diadem of Knowledge, and we'd like to investigate it. The Diadem? That seems unlikely. The Diadem of Knowledge has been used in every extravaganza over the last two decades, always without incident. Why has this come up now? Hmm... Okay, here's the situation. The Diadem is currently in Mount Ima Forest. We moved in the third round. Contestants have to go into Mount Ima Forest, find the Diadem, bring it back, and place it on the stand. The first person to do this gets four points. Considering how close the scores are between our contestants, whoever wins this round is very likely to be the winner of the whole competition. Oh, looks like Layla has seized the diadem. But getting to the goal won't be easy. Oh, so Hatka is here as well. Hatka enters the fray. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting intense. Amazon's device has gone haywire. The competition is heating up. Oh. And here's Kabe bringing up the rear. <laughs> Get up! Oh. Or is it a fake one? Yes, that's right. Oh no. Put the diadem in place, and you shall gain all you desire. Gonna take over Kaveh's soul or something? Who are you? I need you to get out of my head! I am confident that you will not disappoint me. What just happened to me? Come on! Do it, do it, do it! Something's wrong. Well, you can still take it from him, I guess. It's probably a fake one. <sighs> oh, it's the old guy. Hmm. Is that... Kabe's dad? Maybe? <sighs> At long last, someone to inherit my estate and with it my research. There's just that random dude. Come, Kabe. Come to me, my child. How do you know my name? Who are you? I am Sachin. Oh, uh, yeah, Sachin. Forgot his well, name. To be precise, I am but a fragment of Sachin's mind. 
Fate is a curious thing. Seeing you reminds me of another I once met. But you are made of sterner stuff than he. More cognizant of the trials and tribulations of this world. There's something fishy going it is on you here. you who are worthy to inherit all that I once owned. Twenty-eight years ago, I came to the desert and lived there for eight full years. What do you think I saw there? Alas, endless strife and slaughter. It was not possible to simply assign blame for these transgressions to any one party. For the sins are carved into humanity's very nature. Our nature begets conflict, and conflict begets destruction. The aim of my research was to draw lessons from history. But what I discovered was that history offers no such guidance. Things can only ever go from bad to worse. After this realization, I could no longer see the meaning in anything that I had ever learned. Consumed by an overwhelming sense of emptiness, I could no longer bear to face life. And so, I decided to bring my life to an end. No. Oh. But before I went through with it, a strange twist of fate led me to come into the possession of this diadem, which has the ability to preserve part of one's consciousness into it. I placed my experiences before requesting that the Academia manage my estate. As I thought, the contract you signed with the Academia was in essence your will. But if you'd given up hope on this world, why did you feel the need to do this? I mentioned that I have performed a great many experiments concerning human nature. You may regard this as the very last experiment of them all. I see. So you desired a successor who was not only a genius, but who also understood the suffering of ordinary people. Such a person would have a clearer understanding of humanity, society, and the world. But did you ever consider that wealth numbs the human heart to the pain in the world? Even an idealist may be incapable of following through on your wishes after inheriting your wealth. You are highly intelligent, yet you are not the sort of person who would understand my line of thinking. Whether my successor suffers as a consequence of my research, or succumbs to an indulgence in pleasure-seeking, my research will have progressed. I grieve the fundamental sickness of the world. I regret the unbearable weight of its history. And I lament the research that I failed to complete. I have faith in what I see in you. Now wear the diadem, Kave, and complete the journey that I could not. <sighs> Someone's gonna take him away will from him. Will the verdict I reached cause you suffering? Or will this newfound wealth numb your heart? I look forward to your answer. All of my research materials are being stored. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Huh? I've heard enough. My life's enough of a mess already. The last thing I need is more suffering. Keep your mora. I don't need it. Didn't you say that you saw a lot of people in pain? Well, if that's the case, then your wealth can go to them. I guess that'll be the end of that. Kave. A lot of people are going to be angry at Kave. Are you all right? Any physical discomfort? Either that or he'll end up regretting it on the long run. I'm fine. <sighs> Kave may have broken the diadem, but he successfully completed the task prior to that. According to the rules, this makes him the victor of round three. Points-wise, this also makes him the winner of the Interdarshan Championship. As the champion and Sachin's personally designated successor, Kave has obtained the rights to inherit the entirety of his estate. For the avoidance of doubt, can you confirm that it is your intention to donate all of Sachin's wealth? Like I said, he thought that the world is a bad place. Well then, let's use what he left behind to change it for the better. Rejecting the world will achieve nothing. He and I, we're not the same. All right. As the scribe, I will make a record of this incident on file. Sachin's words can only cause pain. Not anymore. 
No one else has to hear them now. We're all scholars here. I know full well that shutting down his views like this is autocratic and arrogant. Fine by me. I'll bear that responsibility. It's the least I can do. And, well, it's the only thing I can do. Hmm. Congratulations, Kave. Also, you'll need to prepare for the award ceremony. Thank you all for your excellent performance. And that brings this year's Interdarshan Championship to a close. Finally, it gives me great pleasure to invite our champion, Kave, to the stage to receive his award. Typically at this point, we would crown our champion with the diadem as well as presenting them with their award. However, we have just received word that Kave has inherited Sachin's estate and made the decision to donate it all to charitable causes. <gasps> Sachin's estate is getting donated? So much, Mora. And he gave it all up? Kaveh's generosity will give many struggling families the chance to change their lives for the better. There's like six, seven people observing this. <laughs> Guess this type of event is not that popular with the people in Sumeru? I'm sure many of our audience, like myself, are curious to learn why you decided to give all this wealth away. I'm not entirely sure what I should say under these circumstances. I'm glad to have won, even though I'd say luck played a big part in that. As for why I want to give the Mora away, I don't support Sachin's views, and I don't want to take his Mora. With a lot of things in life, people need to experience them for themselves. It shouldn't be up to one person to make a judgment on. Not him, and not me either. Well, this is a short and sweet award ceremony. We do still have a prize to present oh, you with. Oh, the card! I totally forgot about the card. TCG card. Poor Sino. Additionally, your champion status will be logged in your record. This means that the sages will give priority consideration to any future project proposals you submit. <sighs> All right, I'll take the card. But as for project proposals, uh, uh, forget it. In that case. I declare the award ceremony over. Let's give our champion Kave one last big round of applause. Paimon, you didn't clap. Oh, <sighs> glad that's over. I think I'm quite good at giving speeches, but this one was Only just four people so attended tiring. that. Excluding uh Sino, the traveler and Paimon. You you're still exhausted from the competition? Honestly, you don't and where look are the happy others? at all, but whatever else happened, you're the champion, you know? Don't you think you should be proud of that? I suppose... <sighs> oh, wait. Sino said he Ooh. wanted the card, didn't he? And now I have it, right here. So you're gonna give it to him? But if it's a rare one, you should be able to make a tidy sum of more off it. Why would I do that? It's of no use to me whatsoever. I may as well just give it to him. Uh, could you pass it on to him for me when you next see him? He's right there, Kave. <laughs> Still, apparently he forgot that he wanted to leave Alhatham's house and buy a house from, for his own. But you know what? I think that secretly he just doesn't want to leave Alhatham's house. He just wants to live there. Because, yeah. He's a masochist. He loves to fight. With all hate them. Whoa, whoa! This is a super big deal! You should do it yourself! Come on, let's go find Sino! Huh? But I was gonna rest for a while longer. Uh, uh, hey, <laughs> hey, stop pulling my hair! See? He's. He's there. I do wonder why Layla, Tagnari. Oh, I forgot the other ones. Had guy and Farozan weren't in the closing ceremony. That's weird. When only Sino came. What you looking at, Sino? I'm still thinking about the Sachin issue. What brings you here? Uh, we were just here. 
Well, they gave me this limited edition Genius Invocation card, and I figured you'd have more use for it than I. But it's a limited edition. Are you sure you want to give it to me? What else would I do with it? I have no use for it. <gasps> He's happy. But it's limited edition. Kaveh, are you in trouble? You don't have to do all this. Just tell me what's wrong and I will help. So I know not everyone cares about limited edition TCG cards as much as you do. Oh, that's not what I meant at all. Yes, I have all sorts of problems, but that has absolutely nothing to do with this card. Uh, how about this? I shall buy it from you at a fair price. Namely, the price that the previous limited edition card sold for. Which was? Oh, come on. It's just one card. How much could it really be worth? One million more at the very least. Who? Huh? How much? A million more? If you feel that's too low, I can go a little higher. <laughs> uh, you don't spend all your savings on your hobbies, do you? You should watch that, you know. You definitely don't want to end up borrowing money in a moment of impulsivity. Living with debt is miserable. Well, Kabe, you should take your own advice and apply it to yourself. Because you're doing a lot worse. Sounds like you're speaking from yep. personal experience. I guess you've been through a lot? Yep. I don't want to talk about it. In that case, maybe you're the one who should be listening to your advice. All right. In any case, here we go. I, Sino, will take this precious card, and it shall join the deck of destiny. Kave, come with me in a few moments to collect the Mora. Thanks to you, I have achieved my He's goal so for participating in this tournament. To his cards. All right, if you insist. It's so funny. Far be it from me to refuse your courtesy any further. Traveler, Paimon, over here. <laughs> Look at all this! Good food, here we come! I must gonna I eat it all. I heard that you went to see the other contestants. How's everyone doing? Farzam found herself a student, and Layla's classmates are bowled over by how well she did. Uh, we couldn't find Hack Guy, though. Who knows where he's gone? You shocked me a little when you hurled the diadem to the ground. On further reflection, of course, it made sense, but at the time I was expecting at least some amount of deliberation. Sachin's voice started talking to me inside my head from the moment I picked it up. I could feel his emotions, too. It was a mix of despair and horror swirling around inside my mind. He bombarded me with his ideas relentlessly, like he was trying to brainwash me. It gave me a splitting headache that only got worse as he went on. Like I was saying at the time, his views are not necessarily completely without value. But if all his research does is lead to misfortune, then we're probably better off without it. If his forbidden research were to spread in a harmful form and cause people to suffer, the mantra would step in and ban it. I think you did the right thing. I suppose another way to approach it would have been to claim that you agreed to inherit his research, but give up the research as soon as you've inherited the wealth. Uh, but that wouldn't have been your style. I won't comment on his theories or experiments, but I don't believe that he was careless in his choice of candidate. He chose you. That means he knew what he was doing. Perhaps. I just think that if you accept someone else's things, you should honor their wishes. That's a good thing. It means that you have integrity. Thank you, oh my god, thank you. See, you get me, Kale. It's a good thing Alhatham isn't here right now. He'd be quick to explain why you're wrong. Seems like you always include him in the conversation, even when he isn't here. Yep, no dinner with Kaveh is complete without a few words about Alhatham. <laughs> I sense that Alhatham has in fact been here with us all along. Is this a incoming joke? He's here? Where? Why didn't you tell me? He lives rent-free in each of our hearts. There we go. Uh. Uh. Oh, that was horrifying. It literally sent chills down my spine. Good thing you didn't say that before we started eating. That would have killed the mood in a heartbeat. <sighs> well, it looks like this inter Darshan Championship's a wrap. All that stuff with the 
Sheen and the diadem got sorted too. Hmm. Have you still got anything else on your mind? Oh, right. Yeah, Sachin said that he placed his research materials at somewhere beginning with... Ah, uh, but Kami smashed the diadem of knowledge before he could finish. Was it the place that he spent like eight years in? Huh. It might be dangerous yeah, our if someone village. finds his old research stash, right? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, where do you think it could be? Holy smokes, you're right. He said he spent all the time researching in the desert, didn't he? So it's very possible that that's where he'd leave all his suits. And of course, Alhaitha got here first. Didn't expect to run into you here. Alhaitha, what are you doing here? And what are you reading? Are those... Sachin's notes? Yes, I came across his profile while I was organizing some documents and became interested in his research. If it wasn't for that, I never would have agreed to being a commentator. I had a hunch after seeing the fragment of his mind, and sure enough, I came here and found his research. I think you may have misunderstood something. The reason Sachin chose that architect to inherit his research was that only he could really empathize with both the calamity and the humanity that these notes seek to convey. Only one who resonates with these sentiments would suffer and begin to think of history as bleak, the present as perplexing, and the future as pessimistic. So, what are your thoughts now that you've read it? As a scholar, Sachin was without a doubt a genius. He laid the blame for the darkness in the world squarely on humanity, experimented extensively with reliable results, and drew logical conclusions. In that sense, one might say his views were correct. I've never been able to agree with certain philosophies. Even Sachin himself struggled to comprehend the notion of sacrificing oneself for the greater good. But sadly, all viewpoints will find their supporters, and the way we see the world largely decides our fates. All right then, I got what I came for. These research materials are yours to look after. I'll be off. Traveler, Paimon, you're already here. Nahida! Oh, and Hakai. Wait, so you asked him to take part in the championship? <laughs> yes, it was me. Are you surprised? I am. Did you know that there was something wrong with the diadem from the start? And if so, why didn't you switch it out for another one? Because Sachin's research is not mistaken. Kitty. He spent his entire life researching this topic, and these materials are a result of that. So instead, I had Hat Guy here help me keep an eye on things. Seriously? I think you can stop calling me that now. Why? Don't you like it? <sighs> well, anyway... If Sachin's chosen successor hadn't been able to handle his research, or if it had brought pain to more people, he would have intervened at a suitable moment. And after all that, the person Sachin chose turned his nose up at his life's work. Pretty hilarious. I was also hoping that this could be an opportunity for you to learn how to interact with people normally. But it looks like that didn't work out. Nope. That wasn't necessary. I'm still paying you back for your help. And the last thing I need is more reasons to be indebted to you. But even though Sachin's research could be considered negative wisdom, it is still a building block of the truth. If someone wishes to follow in his footsteps Cat in the thought. future, I will not stop them. I also look forward to the day that a member of the Vahumana Darshan can not only comprehend his theories, but also find a way out from the despair as well. <laughs> Vahumana doesn't have that kind of talent. Wait, you're not intending to keep me in Vahumana long term, are you? <laughs> I don't remember signing up to become a scholar. Don't you think I'm useful enough to you as a prisoner? Oh boy, here we go again. You think so? Well, to that, I would say that in Sumeru, even prisoners have a right to an education. <laughs> okay. I hope that your studies in Vahumana will help you deal with your own fate and learn how best to settle old debts from your past. I will reveal your final thesis myself. 
I'm expecting great things from you, Mr. Hat Guy. <sighs> Poor Scaramouche. He's regretting his decision. Why did that cat run away? Where did he go? Oh, did it fell? It did fall down. Huh. Well, little one, I'm afraid that your partner has decided to dive down into the abyss. That's a shame. So that will be all for a Parade of Providence event. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!